here is a quick and easy makeup look. Now let's begin the tutorial. So the first thing I'm doing now is to apply my base and this is the MAC Natural Radiance Lumia Base. Next I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Pore Minimizer. So this is basically a pore hiding primer. Uh, for me this is not exactly working out the way I'd like it to but it still helps with reducing the oil production and also I like the way the foundation sits after applying this. Next I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC35 and NC45. I usually like to mix these two to create the shade that suits me. Since I won't be using much foundation in this video, I'm doing spot concealing on the areas where I have imperfections. So I'm just applying the concealer and then tapping it and dabbing it. So I'm just blending, applying it and blending as I go. So now I'm using a damp beauty sponge to blend everything out. Next I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and this is in NC50 and I'm mixing it with the other two concealers that I've mixed earlier and I'm going to be applying this on the areas where I have a hyperpigmentation that is around my mouth, my chin area and also on the sides of my nose. So this is basically what I do, you know, I just apply the concealer and then I just use my beauty sponge to blend. And now I'm going in with my MAC blot powder in dark and I'm going to set wherever I have applied the concealer. Next I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder and this is in NC45. This is my shade. I'm going to use this onto the rest of my face. So basically I'm just using a powder foundation for this tutorial. Next I'm using the Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. This is two shades darker than my skin tone. So I love using this because this powder is just so soft and it applies beautifully onto the skin. I like to do soft contouring, nothing harsh. So I just use my same powder brush to apply this contour. Then I switch the brush to a smaller one. This is just a blending no brand kind of a brush and I apply this onto the areas where I want to do a bit of contouring. I like to do contouring like this because it's just soft it looks a lot more natural so here is a quick and easy way of creating a flawless face base so I kind of like to use this on a daily basis or on the days where I don't really want to have full coverage foundation on this is something that I found that worked so here is a before and after shot so you can see how my imperfections are covered. So now let's move on to the eye look. Next I'm using a eye primer. This is from Lorac Pro. I'm just going to apply this onto my lids. I love using a primer so that my eyeshadow stick. I do have oily eyelids and for me a primer really helps reducing and controlling the oils. So just to give some kind of dimension to my eyes, I'm going in with my face powder which is two shades darker than my skin tone. I'm just applying this over the crease area so this kind of you know helps with enlarging my eyes because I do have heavy hooded lids. As for my eyeshadow, I'm using one from Makeup Forever. I'm not entirely sure of the number. This is like an iridescent blue green kind of eyeshadow. So I'm just going to apply this onto the center of my lid and blending it out. Now I'm just going in with the transition color and blending everything out. For my gel liner, I'm using one from Inglot. As you can see, it's kind of dried up, but I usually like to use the Dura line, also from Inglot, to rejuvenate my gel liners.
Next I'm going to be lining my waterline with a navy blue liner from Kiko. So to finish off the eye look, I'm just going to go in with my mascara. Today I am not going to be applying any false lashes. So for my blush, I'm using Cinnabar from La Femme. So I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheek. Again, I want to go for a soft look, so I'm not going to be heavy-handed with the application. For my highlight, I'm going in with a bronzer. This is from Physician Formula. This is way too light to be used as a bronzer, so I went ahead and used it as a highlight. Moving on to the lips, I'm using Lime Crime Faded Liquid Lipstick. So as I was applying, I realized that this was a little too light and this wasn't the look I was going for. So I went ahead and applied Teddy Bear over where I applied Faded. And I kind of like this lip color instead. So lastly, I'm just going in with a lip liner. This is from Colourpop called Kia. This is a brown lip pencil. I'm just going to line my lips with it. So I'm finally done with the makeup look. So I'm going, just going to adjust my hair, put on some earrings, and here's the final shot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Do follow me on my Instagram page and leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I will see you in my next video. Bye.